my priority if elected governor is to do everything that we can to make sure that all families have access to hope and opportunity. And that means many things. Uh, first and foremost, it means restoring tuition-free technical college by making the HOPE grant once again equal full tuition like it did prior to 2011. Um, expanding access to health care first and foremost by expanding Medicaid and immediately covering 500,000 Georgians with health insurance and investing in our schools, investing in a community school model that provides wraparound services to meet our children where they are. We've got too many children that are coming into school hungry without the eyeglasses or hearing aids that they need or perhaps experiencing violence at home that no one has found and those children are coming into the classroom and they're at a disadvantage and we can't expect them to do their best if these needs are not being addressed and that has nothing to do with the classroom or the teacher and everything to do with making sure we're giving every child the opportunity to be their best. And we've got to always be mindful that job opportunities are not the same all across the state. Uh, we've got to make sure that we're working on economic development opportunities, particularly in the rural parts of the state. Uh, that means we're going to have to invest in transportation infrastructure, healthcare infrastructure, and continue to invest in our people. But we've got opportunities to grow small businesses all across this state if we make it a deliberate priority, and I intend to do that. I'm running for governor to bring hope and opportunity to all Georgia families. I was the first person in my family to go to college and was able to make an incredible life for myself because of the opportunity I was given through the Hope Scholarship Program. And that program is not what it used to be. Uh, it was cut drastically in 2011. I spent my entire legislative career trying to piece back what was broken and there's more work to do. And so I'm setting out to finish what I started in the legislature, restore tuition-free technical college, restore Hope's original promise that if you have a B average, you can go to a four-year public college tuition-free and make sure that all opportunities are there, whether that's healthcare, universal pre-K, quality K through 12 schools, and making sure that job opportunities are available for all of us, that we keep wages, uh, that we make wages higher in this state, they're too low, um, that we make sure that small businesses are supported just as much as our large businesses. We need all of them to keep our economy strong and keeping our state one that is open for business and closed for hate. I think the political pandering to the far right of the Republican primary uh, can have disastrous consequences for our economy in addition to it being extremely hateful and disgusting to discriminate against any citizen in Georgia. I am sitting here as a living, breathing example of what is good about government. That when government invests in people, people can live out their God-given potential. And I wake up every day knowing that there was a window of opportunity for me with the HOPE Scholarship Program. If I had graduated high school before the program was created, it wouldn't have been there for me. If I had graduated high school after the cuts in 2011, I no longer would have qualified for the full tuition HOPE Scholarship. And so I know what it's like to realize that the opportunities that you had didn't have to be there and that if government wasn't doing its job, if it hadn't been on it, so to speak, in the early 90s, I wouldn't be here. So I go into that governor's office every day knowing what it's like as someone who might have missed their window if government hadn't been focused. And so I will never lose focus. I will never lose sight of what's most important, and that is making sure that we are giving opportunities to all families across the state to do their very best.